Game tonight for the 76ers after a not so impressive game two. The stakes are high. Our Dan Koob has a preview of tonight's game three against the Celtics. It is a dire situation for the 76ers coming off a game two loss to Boston in which they basically rolled over in the second half and appeared to quit on their head coach in the process. The same coach in Brett Brown who guided the Sixers through the process now looks as if he's in his final days with the team. There's nobody in that locker room that is a, a kick a chair, swing a towel, flip a desk type of guy. And so, and that's not a bad thing. We're all wired differently. And so Joel's going to have his way where he can make the point or reinforce the point that I just said. The Sixers trailed the Celtics two games to none. And whereas a typical series would have shifted to South Philly Friday, where the Sixers were an NBA best 31 and 4 this year, they'll continue to play on a neutral court in the Magic Kingdom. It may take several strokes of Mickey's wand to save these Sixers in 2020. Competitive pride, um, a, a, a belief that, that the team has more to do, that they truly have the ability to come back and win. What I feel, that's my mission to try to help create that uh, or uncover that. And uh, that's where my head is at. In seven playoff games against Boston in the Brett Brown era, Philly just one and six. Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.